Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. I have to be honest with you. Um, yesterday, when I got up, and after listening to all the trolls and everything else, and as bad as it was just, and I mean it was bad. It was bad. It that that game literally hurt to my soul, seeing the Cowboys play so bad. And then you get Jerry Jones. You know, I was like, okay, so maybe Dalvin Cook's going to be on here. And you literally get Jerry Jones talking about, you know, a, a running a running the game. Running the game is not a problem. You know, are, are Jerry you going to trade for something? I don't. What what are you talking about? I don't see any of that happen. It's like. Weren't you the guy that kind of said that you've seen teams make trades for running back in the middle of the season, go and win the Super Bowl? And now you don't know where it's like, ugh. ugh. And then figuring that the Eagles would take care of business at home and get a win, which would make that loss of ours even worse. And knowing that I have Dan Salio. Tomorrow, it's like, ugh. Cowboys, an ugly loss. Washington, excuse me, Eagles get a win. But then, the Eagles got Kellen Mord. So, I just want to do a little research for tomorrow because Dan's got uh, Cobb on there. And I just want to hear how they're feeling about the game from yesterday. Let's listen in. Rick Sills, National Football Show. We are going to have on at 5.30, Angelo Cataldi. I can't wait to get his thoughts. Angelo said five wins this year. <laughs> um, Ooh. Yeah. So I can't wait to get Gary Cobb on here. But before I do, I want to set this up for Gary. Mm -mm. A lot of conversation about the third and three. Now, I want to tell you what situational football is. Ooh. Atlanta has no timeouts. Okay? No timeouts. None. You got third and three. Mm -hmm. What's the one thing you Even cannot have happen? Down there Stop in the, the red zone with a team that has no timeouts and is down three. You know what that is? Stop the point. The risk-reward. Barkley, who has dropped the ball more than any running back since he's been drafted. Ooh. You put that player in a position at a high-risk play. Catches it? Sure, get it. But what you do as a play caller and head coach, what's the one play and who's your biggest enemy? It's the clock. Mm -hmm. Here's what you do. You run the ball. Instead, you know what happened? You gave Atlanta a timeout. <laughs> you you gave it. them a timeout with a defense that was a sieve all day long. Couldn't stop the run, couldn't stop the pass. We're talking about Kirk Cousins. experienced guy in Cousins. Not that he's great. Any quarterback in the league, though, with time, Sam Darnold's going to complete passes. He's doing oh. <laughs> you know what you do, too? If you think it out thoroughly, you run the ball, clock starts, right? You burn 30 oh. seconds off. What happens then? Oh, boy. You line up for fourth down. Clock starts again. Atlanta can't stop the ball. You, in theory, take off 60 seconds of the clock. Call timeout. You had one left. You kick a field goal, and you make them have to go 35. You make them have to go 75 yards in With 54 no seconds. And no time. Instead of a minute, 40 seconds. Yep. That you tell me what's sense. harder. God, it's been in that situation. Now, Gary may disagree with me. Now, look, Ooh. is Barkley accountable for missing the pass? Of course he is. <laughs> but you put players as a good coach in positions oh, to win. Boy. Tom Brady runs the ball. Tom Brady puts Adam Vinatieri at the end of a football game in a field goal position for Jake Elliott to kick it and try to kick a 60-yarder or a 58-59 yarder to try to win it. His top was 61. Give him a shot. It's a higher percentage play than a Hail Mary. Mm -hmm. That's two minutes, man, in the half 
And at the end of the game, that's the difference between championship football and tomorrow. winning ball games. We were Let's bring Gary Cobb in here from Fox 29. Oh. Um, that goes down in the line, Gary, as a colossal disaster that resembles a lot of 23 and what we saw yes, yesterday and that last night there. Bad. Let's start with that third and three, in your opinion. Was it the right play call? Well, clearly, you know, of course, you know, looking back, of course, you can see that it, that it wasn't the way things worked out. Mm -hmm. But that's where the coach, see, as a player, yeah, I can do it. You know, you're going to be in the coaches. I can do it. But the coach has to say, okay, what is the safest? I mean, what is, uh, how can we be sure? I mean, if we got something we can be sure of, we know we're going to go in that direction. And, you know, your point, which is, you know, which is a great point. But the fact, you know, um, see now, he's just getting to know Saquon. Now, Saquon is oh, an outstanding player. Clean it up. But when you're talking about, you know, I don't know how much he's dropped the ball. You know, most, I don't know how many okay, times. Gary, most of any running back since he's been drafted. I Oops. mean, right there. So right away, you know, if you got to know your guy and go, look, we believe in Saquon, but maybe not in that situation. We, we, we're not sure of everything. But the way they did it is they, it, you know, it's like you got a great pass receiving running back. Now, he's capable of making a great play. Yes. We know, you know, the sky's the limit with him. But you got to know your players. And you got to look at it and say, we're playing to win. We, a pride it. is out the door. We're not trying to be private. And clearly, they made a mistake because you do not, especially the way the defense was playing. Come on, the defense is horrible. Oh. I mean, I mean, you got guys, those safeties were lined up, uh, what? 25 oh, yards deep. Troy Come on. Dude, Gary, the corners were 15, and then the safeties were 25. Troy Aikman in the broadcast was going, you guys That's are way too, too deep back there, man. Come on. Wait, they're not even in the game. I mean, come on. It, it was just ridiculous how wide open those guys were when they ran those routes and things. I, I tell you, you know, and, and, you know, and the thing about it is I don't like about the defenses. They're playing scared, man. You can't – you got to be aggressive, you know. The coach is going to tell you to play, but that, that was just – I mean, oh, man. That – I tell you, you know, that game there, boy, that – you know, getting blown out, person, you know, you know, you, where you know you lose. Come on, you, you got to win that game, man. Come on. Winning team wins that game in the situation they were in. And they got to know their defense. And Nick has to know, look, the defense has, has been playing horrible. They didn't stop them. The only time that uh, the Falcons were stopped, the Falcons stopped themselves, you know, where they, he can't throw the ball to a wide-open receiver. And and that and the, and the pass rush, look, man. Wow. <laughs> I mean, that kid that they got, uh, what? Oh, they huh? put that kid on a – on, on a give him a bus ticket, man. <laughs> Gary, did you see that Damn, guy trying to set ticket. the edge, Bryce Huff? And he was getting yeah, blown up by tight ends, mm. not even tackles. I mean, I know. Do you know that he had two games has zero hits on the quarterback? I, I know. I mean, I, I was just looking at him. I, I was, you know, I got the wow, uh, the him. game over here. I can look at the replay, and I'm looking at man. The tight ends are throwing him around. I'm going. I didn't know this kid was that bad. This kid can't play. Soft. He can't play. You know, I mean, I hate to say it, man. You know, you see with the tackles, he doesn't even – he doesn't get any penetration. You know, the guy's throwing him around. Man, I see – and then I saw the tight ends throwing him around. I'm going, why – who was it that saw this guy when – they got to have him. Man, makes you think that, you know, they should give Hassan Reddick his money. 17.8 million bucks and 51 million dollars they gave that guy and they projected yeah, it, him to be a third down guy. And Three he down can't cut the kid, you know, wow. he, he's got to show something to me. But right now, what I saw, this kid can't play, man. He he's getting thrown around. Like I said, they have the tight end blocking him and throwing him around. I'll tell you, that that, that was really uh disappointing. But you know, looking at the whole game, of course, everybody played a role in it. Um you know, you could go through it. And, of course, one of the big things is going into the game. See, at the start with the three points, look, A.J. Brown is not playing. Why are you not taking the three points? Why, why, why do you guys think you're such a great team? Take the three points, man. 
I, can, I mean, come on. Oh. It started off there. Coach, take the three points. You got it right there. What do you think you guys are? Coach, you don't have A.J. Brown. Your best receiver you do not have. Your best player. Yeah, yeah. You you know, he's not there. Well, then you, you got to look at things. Well, it's safe to say things are not going good in Eagle Land right now. But to summarize, here's exactly what happened. Well, what happened was that second game, we got our ass kicked, or the second half. We just got our ass totally kicked. We couldn't do diddly poo offensively. We couldn't make a first down. We couldn't run the ball. We didn't try to run the ball. We couldn't complete a pass. We sucked. The second half, we sucked. We couldn't stop the run. Every time they got the ball, they went down and got points. We got our ass totally kicked in the second half. That's what it boiled down to. It was a horse performance in the second half. Horse I'm totally embarrassed and totally ashamed. Coaching, our, we're all, all, our coaching did a horrible job. The players did a horrible job. We got our ass kicked in that second half. It sucked.